Jen has to assign 480 people whew, equally to seats in eight sections of the gym. How many will be in each section? All right, we're going to try to do that equally, equally, equally. All right, so Jen, you've got 480 people. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of people, and you've got to organize them out because you want them all basically in the same uh, amount per section. All right, so let's see what's going to happen. It says we have to assign 480 people to eight sections of the gym. And the question is, how many will be in each section? Uh, that's kind of what we're looking at, but we're gonna look for average, all right? How many on the average will be in each section? So how about it? Let's take a look at this one. It's a simple, simple problem. We've got 480 people. We want to basically divide them evenly. So this is a division problem. It's a division problem. So we can look at it from the division standpoint. We say, hey, we'll divide 8 into 480. Nice short, long division, however you want to look at this, because there's not much to this one. Uh, 8 goes into 48 six times, and we'll pick up 6 times 8, which will give us, hey, 48. Just don't forget there's a 0 waiting, and there's got to be a 0 in that final answer, because we're going to put that 6 right above the 48, all right? So in this case, there's going to be 60 of them on the average. Another way, another way we could play this out would be with a little algebra, all right? You say, ooh, Ernie, why don't you have to bring that up? We can do the arithmetic just fine, can't we? But let's suppose we wanted to say 8 times some amount, we'll call it x, equals 480. It's the same process, all right? And I do this because simply I don't want you to feel like all of a sudden, you know, this algebra is that difficult. No, it isn't. This simply says 8 times a number gives us 480. What is that number? Well, look what we did right over here. We said that 60 times 8 gave us a 480. And here we go again. How many times will 8 go into 480? We'll divide both sides by 8. And our x is going to equal 60. Now, what does x stand for here? We always like to define our variable. And right above it, I'm going to do that. x basically is equal to the number of people in each section. All right in a section, all right? And there you go. That is your story. That is what we have for our problem of the day. Hey, fairly straightforward. A couple of ways to look at it. We can look from an arithmetic standpoint. We can look at it from the little pre-algebra algebra standpoint, but it's all about division. For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.